a brutal attack on a school bus in Illinois was caught on a surveillance tape. It shows a 17-year-old student looking for a seat. He sits down next to a younger student, 14 or 15 years old, and then all hell breaks loose. Five minutes after the first round, a second student attacks. Only this time, another student steps forward and breaks up the fight. The victim suffered some cuts on his face, but is okay. Two of the attackers have been suspended from school. And joining us from St. Louis is the student who broke up the fight, Steve Raines, and Belleville, Illinois School Superintendent, Dr. Greg Motes. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Let me start with you, Steve. What what transpired on this bus? What triggered the first fight? Um, it was a lot of um, instigating, and uh, I guess since he put his bag on the ground, like a lot of people were instigating it and was like, oh, ha, ha, he threw your bag on the ground and stuff like that. So then I guess he was like going to show that he wasn't being like punked out or whatever. Uh huh. Yeah. So the, so the uh, older student came, removed the other student's bag. They started taunting the students whose, whose bag was moved, and then he started to beat up on this kid. Is that basically it? Yeah, that's it. And then, um, like, as you can see, like, he just kept punching them until, like, they grabbed him for a second. Yeah. What made you finally stand up and say enough is enough? Um, because it was, like, ridiculous how um, they were both, like, hitting them, and then, like, the second guy, like, was just doing it to... Um, get like some shine or whatever to be tough mm -hmm. and I just was like it's enough because the kid wasn't gonna protect himself or he wasn't even trying to fight or anything. Right, I mean he was completely passive through that through that whole thing. Yeah. Originally one of the police officers said this might have been racially motivated. You're on this bus, you would know yes or no the answer to this. Do you feel like it was? I don't believe it was racially motivated because um, it wasn't, they didn't just do it because he was white. Mm. Um, because there's like eight other white um, students on our bus, but they don't like get picked on or anything. It's just because like he's one of the, like the last stops, so he has mm -hmm. to kind of sit farther back and like no one talks to him. So I guess they found like they think they had the right to mess with him or whatever. Uh, sounds like pure a pretty clean uh, case of uh, bullying, Doctor Motes. The question a lot of people say is what? Why didn't the bus driver stop? Well. It the uh, bus company went through the whole process yesterday of interviewing him and walked him through the tape. And um, he had his reasons. Uh, he was talking about proximity and location where he was. It's still no excuse. Anytime we have an adult involved, uh, any students uh, in danger, we expect that adult to stop, take care of the situation, then worry about transporting students after that. Uh, these kids look like they were being egged on by other students on this bus. The kids who were suspended, have they shown any remorse or voiced any remorse for this? I haven't spoken to any of those students, so I really can't speak to that. But what about the kids who were suspended? I haven't spoken to those. I haven't spoken to them either? No. All right. Well, Dr. Motes, we thank you for taking the time to join us. Steve Raines, well done, young man. Do appreciate you taking the time to speak with us as well. Thank you.